This past Memorial Day, I was asked to preach at the Interfaith uh, Memorial Day worship service. And afterwards, a few people came up to me and said they really appreciated the message. And uh, could I possibly record it and make it available? And so here it is. There's the story of the guy who had too much to drink, who crossed the street and stopped a pedestrian asking him, I say, which is the other side of the street? The pedestrian, somewhat baffled, replied, uh, that side, of course. So the guy who had too much to drink said, strange, when I was on that side, they said it was this side. <laughs> I think the other side of the street depends a lot on where you find yourself. Our perspective, how we look at things differ because of our context and because of the things that have helped form us. Uh, what religion you observe, where you were born and where you grew up, what your social or financial status is, what your political views are, whether you have kids or not, I mean, what experiences you've had in life and on and on. It all influences how we operate and how we see reality, how we process what the other side of the street is for us. It has a lot to do with where you find yourself. Now, I'm sure you will agree that we live in a divided country. Uh, we live in a fractured society. There are multiple other sides of the street. It's not the heavenly ideal where the wolf dwells with the lamb and where the leopard lies down with the goat like we just read from Scripture. It's more like a place where they are at each other's throats constantly. And yet in the midst of this fractured society, in the midst of a deeply divided country, what God requires of us as His children remains the same. Regardless of what side of the street you find yourself on, what God wants from us as His children can be summarized in two statements. It says in Deuteronomy, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. Love God. And it says in Leviticus, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love others. Love God. Love others. The Apostle John says, Beloved, let us love one another because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. Not only that God loves, but that God is love. Love is the solid center of who God is. And as believers in God, we are called to love as God loves. You see, love is, is a virtue. But love must also be at the heart of every other virtue, because justice without love is legalism. Faith without love is ideology. Hope without love is self-centeredness. Forgiveness without love is self-abasement. Fortitude without love is recklessness. Generosity without love is extravagance. Care without love is mere duty. Fidelity without love is servitude. Every virtue is an expression of love. It's not a true virtue unless it's, unless it's permeated and, and informed by God's love. So what I'm trying to say is that God's love, as it finds expression in the way we love others, is always on the right side of the street doesn't matter which side you personally find yourself on. We are called by God to love one another. That is the perspective for all of us, Democrats and Republicans and Independents. We ought to love one another. Blacks and Asians and whites and Latinos, we are to love each other. Roman Catholics and Protestants and Muslims and Hindus and Jews, we should love each other because love comes from God. Those who stand on completely different sides of dividing issues like gun control or abortion or homosexuality or whatever, we should still love one another. 
whether you're a liberal or a conservative, whether you're educated or uneducated, whether you're born in Africa or Mexico or America or Asia, we are to love one another. Doesn't mean we all have to agree on everything. Doesn't mean we all have to be and look the same. There will always be differences. That's not going to go away. And that's okay. And we should appreciate and celebrate and dignify our diversity. But in the midst of our differences, we are still called to love one another. God wants us to show love to each other. Because God is love. And love comes from God. You don't have to like everyone, but you have to love them and show it by your actions. In a real sense, like those men and women we are honoring on Memorial Day, who've sacrificed their lives for this country. They didn't do it just for Republicans or just for Democrats, or only for those born in this country. They did it for the United States of America because they loved this country. Love God. Love each other. Whether you are on that side of the street, or this side of the street, or somewhere in the middle. Amen.